Hi guys, you know something? Before one makes an effort to apply for the photography job, he or she would like to call them as a professional photographer. And today we are back with yet another episode about the photography world. So friends, usually after completing the particular courses of photography, everyone set their goals and finds their dream job, right? But when it comes to applying, many of them fail. Have you ever given a thought on that? Why this happen? Today in this video, we are going to show you how to apply for photography jobs. And specifically, you are going to see the FPRP strategy that had never failed when it comes to applying for the photography jobs. FPRP strategy is simple yet powerful technique. And yes, let me tell you one thing. FPRP is the most effective and 100% proven strategy worldwide. Confused? Wanna know what are these strategies? So let's get into it. Welcome back to Creative Hut, an exclusive platform to know more about photography. There are different types of jobs available in photography. While we were searching for what kind of jobs are available for the photography field, we came across several companies that offer opportunities for the same. But all of them require certain factors that they want to see in their photographers. So we are about to show you the four most influential factors that you should take care of while applying. The FPRP strategy. Ranking factor number one, formal education. Formal education is required for any kind of job. Particularly when you are planning for a photography career, one must at least have a formal education of 12th or degree. But then it varies from company to company because some of the companies even appoint candidates who have just crossed 10th. Furthermore, in photography, the tact of good communication plays an important role in achieving a successful career. So at least you should have completed the basic schooling. The ranking factor number two, photography education. Since you are preparing to apply for the job in photography, without any doubt, you need to have a proper photography educational qualification. You should know the use of camera, lighting, editing, DSLR videography, and video editing. Hence, acquire education for photography by pursuing a photography course either of one year, two years, or three years duration as per one's choice. Now it's time for the ranking factor number three, resume preparation. First, try to understand why a company needs a resume. They need it because the company doesn't know who you are and they just can't waste their time in asking what you did in life so far. So in order to catch their attention, you should design your resume with crisp information, which needs to be informative as well as attractive. To prepare an effective resume, here we have few suggestions for you. Just divide your resume into five parts. That is, first part should be about yourself. Second part, give your contact details, which includes your number, email ID, social website links, address, etc. In third part, add your qualification. Fourth part consists of your work experience. And the fifth part, mention your personal skills. Now the last and important ranking factor number four. Prepare a portfolio. Nowadays, usually companies look for multi-talented candidates. Hence, there must be a portfolio that can showcase the talent of the candidate in various streams of photography. Preparing a portfolio before applying for jobs is a must. And as a photographer, one must surely have two formats of portfolio, that is printed and digital. Printed means you should have a portfolio in the form of a book comprising your prominent and best works of photography. And digital means you should be prepared with some online links in order to showcase your works to clients, interviewers, etc. As it is a digital world, when everything is available online, so why should a photographer be behind? Now, if you're ready with the FPRP strategy, yes, you got me right, the strategy FPRP, then you can apply for the companies that you once wished for. And if you want to know how and where to find photography jobs, then do write your comments and queries on the comment section below so that we can come up with the next session regarding this. Till then, stay tuned with us, subscribe our channel, click on the bell button for the notifications on our latest videos.
For photography courses, different specializations in photography, visit our website www.creativeheart.org. For more photography articles, tips, tricks, portfolio, and much more, visit our website www.creativehearts.com. Feel free to like and share. Until we meet next time, stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.